Did you know stickers are like the rock stars of the print-on-demand world? They're everywhere. Super popular and some of the best-selling items in the print-on-demand industry. And this Christmas season will be no exception. So, it's time to get seriously festive and create some Christmas stickers that will have your customers feeling merry and bright. Today I've got an easy and creative tutorial that will help you fill your shop listings with money-making sticker packs. I'll be using ChatGPT and Microsoft Bing's Image Creator to whip up some festive Christmas stickers faster than Santa can come down the chimney. So let's head on over to my computer and get started. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. And as you can see here, I'm on the Microsoft Bing Image Creator powered by Dali 3. Basically, you can just go on to, you know, a Google or a Microsoft search and just type in uh, Microsoft Bing AI Image Generator and obviously you click the link and it will take you to this particular web page. So, what I decided to do, I needed a little bit of context before I went ahead and started creating my Christmas stickers with Bing. So what I did was I did a lot of research by visiting various websites with keywords and prompts. But what I did was I asked ChatGPT basically to categorize, to split the four keyword prompts under four different headings. That being adjective, noun, verb, and style. And ChatGPT came back to me with this particular text table. What it did was it also gave me the prompt, as you can see over here, but I didn't want that. What I wanted it to do for me was just to split all of the keywords under these four headings. So I basically asked it to do so again. And as you can see here, it actually followed my instructions. We have futuristic, cityscape, reflecting, concept art, etc. Now you might be asking yourself, Brian, what does that have to do with Christmas? Nothing for the moment. Hang tight, stick with me. I'm going to show you in a few moments. So basically, I just wanted to get to lay the groundwork for this particular table that I wanted, um, basically with adjectives, noun, verb, and style as my category headings. So then after I got all of the keywords and I basically asked it to continue going through the entire list, as you can see, it's quite extensive. I said, great, excellent, we're progressing, thank you. Always be nice to your AI bot. Now please retype the entire list, but this time present the entire text table with Christmas related keywords according to the pertinent category headings. So I wanted to give all of this context to ChatGPT to get an idea of what it is that I was looking for. And then I wanted it to actually convert and translate all of this information into a Christmas related table. And as you can see here, it started doing just that. We got festive Christmas tree decorating illustration, cozy fireplace stocking, digital art, and so on and so forth. And obviously it then asked me, please let me know if you need anything else. And I told it, please continue with the entire list. Now ChatGPT gave me the entire list. And for those of you who are saying, oh, this would be gold to have, don't worry, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description box down below so that you can click on it so that you can actually download the list to your device and obviously utilize it after finishing watching this particular video. Okay, so now that I had the list, it was time to head on over to Microsoft Bing in order to generate the stickers. So let's just head back over there, okay? Now, what I wanted to do is, well, I wanted to make sure that I directed Microsoft Bing to give me a circular sticker with a transparent background with a defined stroke around the sticker so that would be easy for me to extrapolate in an image program like Photoshop or Photopea or even Canva for that matter so that I wouldn't have to go through the hassle of you know trying to delete the background and picking out all of the you know floating artifacts that might be in a sticker that you know would be randomly generated without having told the image generator that you know you wanted in the sticker format. Does that make sense? Let me show you. Okay, so basically what I did was I typed in a circular sticker with a stroke outline. In the sticker is, in this particular case, a headshot of Santa Claus drinking from a takeaway coffee cup. So basically, I actually did this particular prompt prior to generating the list in ChatGPT. I just wanted to see what Microsoft Bing would come back to me with. And as you can see here, we got, well, three really good images here. The first, the second, and the fourth. The third one, unfortunately, has got somebody's thumbprint over there, so I wouldn't use that one. But these three over here are, would be really great to include in a sticker. I mean, I'm actually even thinking, you know, a coloring book type of sticker where maybe parents could purchase sticker packs for their children that they could color before they're applying them to Christmas presents when they're wrapping them, just to get a more of a multi-sensory type of activity to keep those children you know, occupied particularly when they're off from school driving their parents crazy. 
Okay, so then I moved on to the next one. Here in this particular case, I started utilizing the keywords from the list. So as you can see here, in all of the prompts I'm going to be showing you, we're always starting with a circular sticker with a stroke outline and a transparent background. Okay, so you can just basically copy it and put it on a Word document or a Google Doc so that you can copy it and paste. Or what you can do is what I've done too is open up multiple tabs if your device allows it, if you're on a computer, and then just basically head over, you know, open up multiple copies of the Microsoft Bing homepage and go ahead and paste in the beginning prompt in each of the pages just so that you can save a lot of time. Now, the second half of the prompt in the sticker is, in this particular case, Santa in space, Santa Claus riding a sleigh among the stars, digital art. And as you can see here, we got four really interesting designs. I think out of the four, for me personally, I would go with the first and the third one. I really like the designs of them. This one, there's a hint of color here. It isn't bombastic, it isn't in your face, but there is that subdued color, which could actually be something really great to create a sticker pack for. Maybe with some other popular Christmas characters and then, you know, create a six or an eight or a nine sticker pack to provide to your clientele. Now the next one here pertained to a glowing Christmas candle flickering and this time the style was vector design. And we got four really nice images of a Christmas candle. So you can see we've got a lot of similar themes that I could actually mix and match and put them together in a sticker pack, which will work brilliantly. All right, now the next one here, we added a little bit more color to it. And here we have Red Nose Rudolph guiding Santa Slay bright watercolor illustration. Given the fact that we added in the style watercolor illustration, we started to see a lot more color being presented in the stickers, as you can see here. And again, all four of them would be really great to include in a sticker pack. This one pertained to cozy winter wonderland exploring photography. So here I was, you know, touching upon two different niches, people who love photography, people actually three people who love traveling. You know, perhaps maybe they want to travel to a Christmassy destination. And obviously with the fact that we have this cozy winter wonderland gives it a nice Christmas theme too as well. So again, don't be afraid to cross niche your Christmas pack designs. Think about camping, think about hiking. If you're stuck for, you know, appropriate niches to, to design for, go on to ChatGPT and ask it to give you a list of 20, 30, 40, even 50 different niches, hobbies, occupations. And then, you know, you can actually incorporate some of those niches, the keywords from those, into these particular prompts for Microsoft Bing and see what kind of results you get from Microsoft Bing when it finishes generating them. Now, here we've got a transparent background. Um, this one had a pencil and a ruler, but again, given the fact that we've got the solid white outline, and this is where, you know, telling it to put in a stroke outline uh, really works handy because you know that everything is going to be compacted into the circle. You could do it square, you could do a hexagon, you could do a triangular. You can use any geometrical shape if you want to. Obviously, circular stickers do tend to be quite popular, but, you know, you want, if you want to stand out from the crowd, Try a different geometric shape and see what kind of results you get. Now, if you don't want to use Microsoft Bing, you can actually utilize these prompts in any of the other image generators that are out there and see what kind of results that you achieve. Or if you want to take it one step further, you could try creating different stickers in different image generators and then put them together into one sticker pack so that you'd definitely be creating a nice variation of styles of, of generated images for your paying customer base. Again, guys, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the sticker packs that you generate are going to stand out against, you know, the, the sea of other sticker packs that you're going to find out there in any of the print on demand platforms that you might be selling on. So I really want to encourage you to try creating a number of stickers using Bing. It's free to use. What there is, is a limit, as you can see up over here. Um, I started off with about 27, I'm down to 12. Basically, every time you generate um, an image, that number decreases. But it doesn't mean that just because you get down to zero, you can't generate any more. When you get down to zero, you can still continue generating, albeit it will be a little slower in terms of coming back to you with the results. But again, you can continue generating as many as you want. You can open up multiple tabs, put in different prompts, and just effectively wait for them so that by the time, you know, you could open up seven or eight tabs, key in your prompts, and by the time you get to your seventh or eighth tab, the image that you asked for in the first tab will have generated, and you can just obviously continue going, you know, through them one by one 
until such time as you generated all the prompts that you wanted to generate. And then you can go ahead and then download all of the, the stickers that you've generated, take them into Canva, take them into Photopea, you know, Illustrator, Photoshop, whatever image editing program that you use. Start creating your sticker packs and then obviously upload them to your respective print on demand platform and hopefully land a lot more sales. So now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a bonus download in the description. I'm going to provide you with a sticker pack template that I created in a number of videos ago so that you can actually utilize those and you know download the stickers open up the template in Canva or in Photoshop or whatnot, and then import those stickers onto the templates so that you can be sure that when you upload your sticker packs, particularly to a platform like Redbubble, you're not gonna get any overlap, which means the customer is not gonna get any stickers that are touching with each other. It's gonna be a nice professional sticker pack that's gonna put a great taste in the mouth of your customer who will definitely be back again to purchase from you in the future. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Just because these prompts pertain to Christmas, there's no reason why you can't go in, copy the entire list into ChatGPT and then instruct it to regenerate a new list for you for an upcoming holiday. Guys, Christmas is soon going to be upon us. And then after that, we've got events and holidays like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Start working on those now too as well so that, you know, when January comes around and things have really slowed down, you can actually start uploading your designs for Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day so that when the rush for people to start purchasing, you know, stickers, t-shirts, whatever, for those particular holidays, you'll have your designs up in the marketplaces so that they'll be able to find you and hopefully you'll land more sales in the start of the first quarter of the coming year. It's all about thinking ahead, guys. You don't wanna get caught in the moment and start designing for things that are happening now. You always wanna make sure that you're designing for events that are gonna be happening at least two months in advance. Being ahead of the curve, being ahead of the game is what's gonna keep you at the forefront and is what is gonna help you increase in your sales. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. And now I would like to invite you to take a look at this video here to help you take your print on demand business to the next level. I'll see you there. Bye for now.